Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia decided during a live broadcast on Wednesday that she will begin working on federal legislation mirroring Florida's ban on talking about sexuality with younger students. Take a look. They'll tell, because you've got the power to do it, we would all get behind you a bill to pull federal funding out of any school that sexualizes children. Absolutely, 100%. I'll meet with my like I'll meet with my team right after this interview, and we will get to work on it, Alex. Because I will do anything I can to protect kids, and um, I, I'm one. I only want allies. But you know what? If someone doesn't like me or my legislation, then who cares? The Daily News reports that billboards encouraging people to say gay are popping up across Florida in response to the controversial anti-LGBTQ legislation known as the Don't Say Gay Bill, which was signed into law by Governor Ron DeSantis early this week, and it's set to go into effect July 1st. On Monday, the Republican governor enraged LGBTQ advocates, civil rights groups, Florida educators and students, as well as several national politicians and Hollywood celebrities, when he gave his final blessing to the state's parental rights and education bill. For weeks, discussion on the Don't Say Gay bill captured national headlines. After it passed Florida's House of Representatives and Senate, the Southern Progress Political Action Committee decided to protest the legislation by doing exactly the opposite, saying or writing gay on massive billboards across the state. The Southern Progressive PAC, whose mission is to speak the truth to power and expose the extremist agenda of Republican politicians that seek power for themselves while trampling on the rights of the people they claim to represent, partnered up with the Midas Touch Pack, a group that produces pro-democracy political videos and content to urge Floridians to say gay. After the project was approved by billboard vendors, the group ran an online fundraising campaign to help make the attacks from Ron DeSantis and Florida Republicans backfire. The billboards, which initially went up in Tallahassee and Jacksonville, are now also in Orlando, with another one coming up in Miami later this week, according to Ali Samarco, a volunteer with Southern Progress who said, It's okay to say gay. It's more than okay. It's encouraged. We want to make it very clear that it's okay to talk about who you are and where you come from, and no one can stop you from doing that, she told the Orlando-based television station WESH-TV. Slammed as hateful, homophobic, transphobic, and dangerous by critics, the legislation prohibits school districts from encouraging classroom discussion about sexual orientation or gender identity in primary grade levels or in a manner that is not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate for students. It also allows parents to sue a school district for violations. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe and join others who like their news route too.